The holidays are certainly a time for people to celebrate and enjoy family and friends. And especially for kids, it's like there's electricity in the air. And we can certainly give thanks to Michael Faraday, who was born in 1791 in England, for helping make the holidays so magnetic. Michael Faraday had very little formal education, and he educated himself. As a little boy, he sold newspapers in the streets of London, and in 1804, at the age of 14, he became an apprentice for a local bookbinder, and it was there that he'd read whatever books he could. While binding the Encyclopedia Britannica, an article on electricity caught his attention, and he'd studied that whenever he could. Now, at that time, the principles of electricity were basically a complete mystery and were just being discovered. Faraday began attending free lectures on electricity by Sir Humphrey Davy, who was speaking at the Royal Institute, and he took copious notes for himself. One day, he bound 300 pages of his own notes, and Faraday sent them off to Davy, who immediately and generously replied with an offer to Faraday to become a laboratory assistant for $10 a week. On Christmas Day in 1821, while showing his wife some experiments, Faraday got the idea for what became the principle for electric generators and motors. He also greatly advanced the science of electromagnetism, chemistry, and he was a pioneer in what we now call environmental engineering as he investigated river and air pollution. And by the way, he also discovered nanoparticles. Remembering the benefits of listening to free lectures, Faraday delivered lectures on Christmas Day at the Royal Institute to young people, and his lectures were joyful and juvenile. He'd sometimes fill soap bubbles with different gases to show which ones were magnetic. And the Christmas Day lecture series continues to this day over 200 years later. Faraday was offered a knighthood, but he humbly turned it down saying he preferred to be plain Mr. Faraday to the end. But his impact on science and our world is profound. In fact, Albert Einstein kept a picture of Faraday on his study wall. So, when you feel the electricity in the air this holiday season, think of Mr. Faraday.